up by NATO, so too uh, Sivkaru, Russia, and Svoboda now coming through as well. Those three going clear the rest of the field, and it is Svoboda, and then very close, I think Sivkaru just ahead of NATO. Again, a headwind, 1.2 meters per second, and it's Svoboda, who confirms her status of favorite. They didn't win so clearly as all that. Well challenged, and she's confirmed as the winner. 11.52 for the Polish athlete. Third Polish athlete to become European women's junior champion at 100 meters. Well, cleanly away this time, and very quickly away was Philip. So too was Pope. Pope's really striding away now. Philip, though, clawing back the deficit, and Philip gets the verdict. Philip is the winner for Great Britain. Second was Pope, and coming through very strongly on the outside, taking the bronze was Foboda. And just look at that time, a European lead and personal best. 7.06 for Asha Philip. Well, she was very quickly away, challenged by Pove, two lanes to her inside, but then really poured it on over the second half of the race. Pove confirmed as the silver medalist. And Svoboda, the, the bronze medalist. Well, Pove was away quickly, but Asha Philip, well, she held her own through the first half of the race and then just pulled away. What a wonderful story it is, isn't it, for Asha Philip? She was the world youth champion 10 years ago in 2007, then had that terribly serious injury in a mini trampoline when she was also competing at the very highest level at trampolining. And uh, this is her first title since that World Youth Championship at international level. A great story of perseverance, and she's come through. And as you said, Phil, she smashed her personal best, Heaven 706. A really strong, determined effort throughout. Wasn't put off at all by Pove's blitz start. She comes well clear of the rest of the field. Brilliant run. Well, it's Hannah Fuir who's got the best of starts. Also on the outside, Maya has got a flying start, but now Svoboda really getting into her running. It's going to be gold for Poland, gold for the hosts. The first gold medal of these championships goes to Poland, and it will have Eva Svoboda's name on it. She fulfilled all expectations. She fulfilled her role as favourite. 11.42, she's run a lot faster than that on many occasions into a sm slight headwind but it's doing it on the day that counts and Eva Svoboda is the 2017 European Athletics Under 23 Championships 100 meters champion Sir. Once again, Svoboda going well, so two more plenty outside of it. Here comes Svoboda, Philip holding on, Skipper's coming through, Svoboda takes it, Skipper's in second place, pretty close for third, Philip uh, may just have held on for that, but the favourite has triumphed, the winning time shown as 7.09, that's quicker than she ran in the heats in semi-final, and now she realises just what she's done, Daphne Skipper's ran the best time that she's done this year to take second but the champion was Fobida and she's been in brilliant form this year that's a sixth win in seven major races this season and uh, you can never run right off Daphne Skippers who's got the silver medal the photo is still needed to decide I think the third place for sure but a wonderful run by this youngster from Poland former European junior champion now fully delivering at senior level and the emotion has got to her There we are, draped in the flag. Two Polish triumphs in quick succession from the men's pole vault to the women's 60. And it was Philip, and just behind her, in fact, a wooer, the youngster, a personal best of 7.15, both the British athletes running 7.15, so terrific performance. Different generations here of sprinters coming together to share the good spoils in this race.
She still can't quite get over it. <laughs> I think there's going to be some celebrations in the Polish camp tonight. Well, Ever Svoboda away very quickly. Skippers once again left a little bit in a block. Philip also running well at this stage. Well, Svoboda no stopping her over the final 20 metres. Skippers again a lot to make up. Nevertheless, I think it augurs well for the summer. Skippers hasn't had the best of winters. Season's best though for Skippers. But she's coming through and starting to show the form that we've seen in previous years. A deeply impressive performance by Awur in fourth place. Probably the uh, shortest of the competitors there. And they're just finishing ahead of Kambunji. That real battle on for the bronze medal. The first and second were fairly clear in the end. Um, Skipper's such power and strength in the second half of the race, but Svoboda maintaining her form very well indeed, right the way through to the line, doesn't forget to dip, and she's got it. Just looking a bit further down, yes, of course, a woo, a great performance from the young Briton. Disappointing, though, from Kambunji. She hasn't looked the part all the way through the three races today, and didn't look anything like the athlete that got the bronze medal at the World Indoors last year. No, I didn't uh, get a start really right on any of those races. Eva Svoboda taking the gold medal in 7.09, and Daphne Skippers in 7.14, the silver, and Asha Phillips in 7.15, the bronze, just ahead of her compatriot, 19-year-old Crystal Awua with a personal best, and Kambunji a further 100th behind. of Ireland. All eyes on lane six, Eva Szpoda of Poland, the overwhelming favorite. And Svoboda gets a lightning start. She's well away already. Starting to really pour it on. Behind a Leduc coming very well. But Svoboda flying down the home straight. Svoboda takes the gold. Leduc of Franz Silva and Nipgen takes the bronze unofficially 11.15 that could be a season's best for Svoboda confirmed at 11.15 a long way back Cynthia Luduk takes a very good silver medal in 11.40 and Lisa Nipkin bronze for Germany Diane Weissman just misses out on becoming Israel's first ever female medalist at this event but no doubting at all the winner Eva Svoboda, about two strides into that race, she had a lead well away, grabs the Polish flag from numerous supporters here. Lightning start, and she just pours it on from there. Yeah, we picked her out as the favourites, rightly so, but still plenty to do for the pole. Only one woman has run faster in Europe this year. Fantastic stuff. And she's got the classic physique for a top-class sprinter. Compact, great technique. Everything just fits together for a very, very good time indeed. Sroda ran 11-12 last year. And as usual, we get a nice broad smile from the pole whenever she wins. She's picked off quite a lot of titles in her time with a 0.6 metres per second wind on her back and joined now by the other two medalists. 